Hello, it's Josie here from the Manchester Evening News. I know I went live earlier um, with the anti-vaccine protests in Manchester City Centre for healthcare workers and they're now entering the Arndale, so they're storming the Arndale and that is why I am going live again right now. There's been people entering for a little bit. We did, the protest did earlier on this morning, so it started at one o'clock. Apologies if you're struggling to hear me, it's very loud, but the protest started, people gathered at 1 p.m. Yeah. The oh, this God. afternoon. It's now three hours on, over three hours on. We passed the Arndale, we passed here earlier, and they didn't go into the Arndale. I know anti-vax protesters have before, um, but this is the first time they've entered the Arndale and gone inside anywhere today. Here we go. So we're on Market Street, so the food court's just up there to get an idea of where we are and where the protesters are at right now. Our whistles going on. So I went live a couple of minutes after people started entering the Arndale and you can see the scale of it by the people that are still going in now. You can see the banners just about fitting through the doorways. There's so many people out here in force and it hasn't died down. It feels a bit tenser than it was first thing this morning. Although it did start by blocking a tram from arriving at Piccadilly Gardens. Right. I am now... You'll see that there are quite a lot of police officers around. It's hard to say exactly how many because they're spread across the protests because there'll be... There'll be people in uniform at the front and at the side and at the back of the protest. As an audience here now, look, I presume just shoppers. A lot of them wearing masks. A lot of them wearing masks. And now here we are, um, inside the middle of the Arndale, the big shopping centre in the centre of Manchester. And the acting vaccine protesters have stormed it. So they've all got in a huge amount of people. Sparking a lot of interest with them. Um, people who are doing their shopping today. They've come in with their placards, with everything like that. see there you might have just seen some people handing out handing out leaflets to members of the public I've heard some people talking about you know if anybody can take some leaflets and give them to people for outreach so that's what's going on oh see how crammed it is look I'm struggling to make my way through here your masks do not work read the small print it tells you on the packaging it don't work very simple you can see it's really crammed, really very crammed right now. It really is blocking everything. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I'm going to try and make my way through, but it's it's quite a challenge right now. I'm hoping I'm hoping those um those tuning in can hear me okay. I've got a microphone, but it's very loud. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle. There we go. There we go. You can see Just to get an idea of where we are in the Arndell, you can see um, Selfridges just out there. So this is where we are. Um, yeah, so those just joined me. The anti-vaccine protest that's going across town today, been causing quite a lot of disturbance to traffic and whatnot. It's now in the Arndell. It's inside Manchester's big shopping centre. And you can see, like, there's probably a load of people who are here to do their shopping, sheltered from the cold, that are up on the balconies up there. And it appears at the moment that people have just stopped. I don't think, I don't think the protesters are moving anywhere right now. singing now and I apologise if you're hearing any bad language at any point uh, there is a lot of swearing in the chants that I have heard some abuse some swear words being directed at members of the public and being directed at police officers so just be aware that you could end up hearing anything like that on this broadcast right now but here we are inside the Arndale This isn't the first time anti-vax protesters have gone into the Arndale, but I believe this is the first time an anti-vax protest about vaccine mandates for healthcare workers has entered the Arndale. So it's a slightly different protest. It's not vaccine passport itself. It's also for NHS workers. And earlier today, as part of the march, you saw some of those healthcare workers who are here on the march today putting their scrubs up. And they're putting their scrubs up on Oxford Street, attaching them to railings because they were resigning, I think. You know, they were they were saying that that is it for them. They'd written on those on those scrubs, how many years they'd worked for, what their job was, you know, I think, you know, I saw one that said neonatal nurse, 11 years experience. So you've had that going on today, as well as the huge sheer numbers of people, hundreds and hundreds of people, who have now been marching for hours, over three hours. It was one o'clock. It was one o'clock when people gathered in Piccadilly Gardens. And now, They've even actually repeated some of the same area of the march. They've gone back on themselves. But it's still going strong. I expect the numbers have gone down a bit. There are still an awful lot of people here. An awful lot of people. So, I'm just going to head out of the Arndale for a little bit because there's music being played that's pre-recorded um, so we're not able to record that unfortunately but I'm hoping I've just given you an idea of what it's like inside um, so if you know anybody who's going about town at the moment you might want to tell them that there's protesters inside the Arndale um, which is right behind me so that's where they are they're in the sort of concourse area uh, by the entrance on Exchange Square so that's where they are at the moment, the anti-vaccine protesters. Hopefully you can hear me a bit better out here as well. And I can, I can show you. There they are inside. Um, I'm just keeping my distance from the music, um, but they are still in there. It seems they're keeping still, playing music, 
chanting, there's people on the sort of balconies, the level up, that are just stood there with their like arms up. I just heard someone say, I don't know if you had that, saying that you've never seen anything like it, um, never seen a protest like this. I personally haven't seen a protest of this scale in Manchester firsthand before, um, and it certainly is surprising quite a lot of shoppers that I've seen just walking about the streets of Manchester today. We've been giving you updates throughout the day. I've been tweeting, we've got a live blog running. I went live earlier as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this live shortly, but I'm gonna keep going with the coverage um, as the march continues. Um, and we're giving you updates, you know, if you're going out about, especially if you're getting tr public transport, you'll want to know whether this protest is disrupting your journey at all. It does, it has been crossing roads and blocking roads, walking along, you know, the whole length of them. You know, it went down Dean's Gate, it went um, along Oxford Street, you know, the whole entire width of it, both lanes blocking the traffic. So it has caused quite a bit of disruption. When it first started from Piccadilly Gardens, the first thing that happened was blocking a tram that was about to arrive at Piccadilly Gardens. And that seemed to me, from standing right there, as quite a deliberate thing because they, they could have um, waited until that tram had continued before stepping out in front of it and deciding to start their march there and then. But as I've said, updates on our live blog, um, on the MEN website as well as all the latest stories from across Greater Manchester today. So for any more updates on the protest that I'll be continuing to follow, it's starting to make its way out of the Arndale now, so I'm gonna go and find it. Um, as I said, the issue I just had just then and the reason why I've distanced myself from it is because they were playing music that I wouldn't be able to record. But I will be getting some more footage and photos and shots of it inside the Arndale now. So go onto the MEN website, I'm Josie LaVey on Twitter for all the latest updates. Thank you.